Engineering is an enticing and respectable career that offers great job stability, intellectual stimulation, and of course, healthy salaries. Further, a staggering 87% of engineers claim that they're happy within their jobs while consistently raking in 74% higher pay than average annual wages. Beyond that, from now until 2030, there's actually expected to be about a third of new engineering jobs left open due simply to a lack of engineers. Seems like a shoe in Engineering must be an automatic score, right? Well, not entirely. Although these statistics might lead you to think that engineering as a whole is lucrative and growing, some fields tip the scale much more than others, while some are effectively shrinking. So to set the record straight, we've compiled a list of the most prevalent engineering fields with their salaries and career outlook so that you know who makes the big bucks and who's going out of style. I'm Engineer Joe, welcome to Engineering Insiders. Starting it off with the classic, mechanical engineering is a huge field that's all about how machines and mechanical systems work and how to build them, from tiny components like gears and springs to large systems like cars and power plants. They contribute to an immense number of fields from robotics and aerospace to medical devices and wind turbines. They pull an average of about $101,000 a year with early career to top engineers ranging from $67,000 to around $151,000. With it being a very diverse field, it's no surprise that they're expecting an employment growth of around 10% across the next decade. Significantly greater than the average engineering field at seven and average career at three. Next, we have subfields of mechanical engineering, mechatronics and robotics engineering. These two are similar fields that utilize software, electrical and mechanical engineering to create smart machines and robots. These engineers bring to life things like automated manufacturing systems, drones, and intelligent systems in cars like those of self-driving and self-parking. Mechatronics and robotics engineers pull a healthy average of about $110,000 a year, with early career to top engineers ranging from $67,000 to around $168,000. Since 2004, openings for robotics engineers have actually decreased by a dramatic 4.6%. But don't worry, these numbers are starting to trend upwards. From now until 2029, the job count is expected to increase a massive 13%, closely related with the ongoing AI boom. Next, we're on to biomedical engineering which is the only field on our list today that blends together medical science with engineering. These engineers use mechanical, electrical, and software engineering practices to design medical equipment, artificial limbs, and heart pacemakers, while developing new technologies for diagnostics and treatments. For the life-saving work that they do, these engineers are paid around $108,000 a year on average, with the early career to senior engineers ranging from about $66,000 to $160,000 a year. This field is projected to grow 5% over the next decade, smaller than the average for all engineering fields, but still greater than the national career average. However, it is important to mention that some fields, like biomedical engineering, are more niche compared to the giants like mechanical and software. These larger fields inherently have a greater pool of applicants, meaning that even though biomedical might have less projected growth than mechanical, this doesn't necessarily mean that a new engineer would have a harder time finding a biomedical job compared to a mechanical job. It can be an indication that this is true, but it is not written in stone. If you are looking to find that first job, make sure to check out the video in the top corner once you're done watching this one. We've got our tried and true method for any student to burst into the workforce. Anyways, 5% growth for biomedical is still substantially higher than the nation's average, meaning that quality prospects shouldn't have any problem finding a position. But you should watch that video, just in case. Next up, we have another large field, which is also my field, electrical engineering. Broadly, electrical engineers focus on electrical systems and devices, working on a wide range of technologies like electrical circuits for smartphones, planes, and satellites, or developing large-scale power grids that provide power for millions are just a few applications of this field. These engineers pocket an average of $114,000 a year, with entry-level engineers expecting $71,000 and the top 10% of engineers reaching toward $167,000. Are you wondering how my electrical engineering salary compares to these rates? Are these even realistic? Stay to the end to see how it compares to my real electrical engineering salary. Now onto the projected field growth, this field, like biomedical, is expected to grow some 5% in the next decade, providing around 18,000 new jobs every year. Next up, we have another subset of mechanical engineering and a fan favorite, aerospace engineering. Contrary to popular belief, aerospace engineers don't only build rocket ships and satellites. They also work on planes, missiles, and all types of aerodynamic vehicles from speedboats to Formula One cars. They work on the science behind these vehicles, both within and without of Earth's atmosphere, basically ensuring that they're safe, efficient, and environmentally friendly. These rocket scientists, or engineers, 
pocket a whopping average of $127,000 a year, with entry-level engineers reeling in almost 90 k and senior engineers earning 176,000 big ones, healthily becoming our highest earners thus far. Aerospace engineering is expected to have around 3,800 new openings a year in the next decade, resulting in about 6% growth over this span. And now up next, we have debatably the most important discipline of our time, environmental engineering. Dedicated to protecting public health and global environments, these engineers design systems for waste management, water purification, air quality improvement, and the cleanup of polluted areas. You can find them using UV light to design air purifiers, innovating new forms of sustainable energy, and even crafting landscapes that remove pollutants and prevent flooding, among many other things. For their extremely important work, these engineers are paid an average of about $102,000 a year in the United States. Early career engineers can expect around $61,000, and the top 10% of environmental engineers pull a hefty $150,000 a year. Now this next field may be the largest of them all and has famously almost grossly high earners, software engineering. But before we get into that, we want to mention that if you want to pick what engineering fields and topics we cover in our videos, consider supporting Engineering Insiders on Patreon. It only costs a few dollars a month, we pick new videos weekly, and it really helps us bring more engineering content to you. You can cancel anytime, link is in the description below. Getting back to it, software engineering is dedicated to everything programming. Big surprise, right? They write code and applications for all types of fields, from YouTube's algorithms that recommend this video, to iPhone operating systems seamlessly navigating from app to app, to the communication systems telegraphing data from James Webb's telescope directly to Earth. These engineers find themselves raking in an average of $132,000 a year, with entry-level engineers already at $75,000 and the top 10% of engineers at nearly $200,000 a year. This field is expected to explode, growing an expected 25% in the next decade. Yes, this is over 150,000 new jobs expected to open up every single year for the next decade. So yeah, a lot of jobs. A word to the wise is that no matter which engineering field you might end up in, you should expect to have at least some software engineering skills as more and more positions expect at least baseline software proficiency these days. Now we're gonna to transition to a much more hands-on and tangible field than software, civil engineering. These engineers apply various mechanical engineering topics like stress, strain, and elasticity for materials and structures to design and oversee construction projects related to everything infrastructure. So basically every major road, bridge, building, or dam that you've experienced is thanks to civil engineers. These engineers get paid an average of $97,000 a year, with early and late career ranging from around $61.5 to $140,000. This is the lowest salary range on the list so far, but not to fret, this is still about 1.6 times greater than the average American salary of $59,500. But what about the job outlook? Civil engineers are projected to grow 5% over the next decade, still healthily outpacing the national average. This is a great time to mention that if you're worried about your pay, every engineering field has the option to get into engineering management. These managers have varying levels of engineering versus actual management responsibilities, but in general have to be well versed in any given engineering field and industry while applying leadership and high stakes decision making skills. For these added responsibilities, engineering managers make an average of $31,000 more than their engineering counterparts. But enough about management, let's get back into the engineering. Specifically, let's get into one of our channel's favorites, computer engineering. These engineers are at the intersection of the coding behind software engineering and the discrete circuitry of electrical engineering. To simplify their role, if electrical engineers build the physical circuits and the software engineers are writing the lines of code to be run, the computer engineers design the processor that can host the various software and communicate it via electrical signals that travel throughout the circuit board. In reality, the lines are much more blurred than that but surface level, that's kind of how it works. These engineers start at a hefty $75,000 a year, average $140,000, and can expect up to $208,000 a year in the end of their career. Whoo! The highest on this list so far. But don't worry, we got more high numbers coming. And this next one won't disappoint. It's chemical engineering. These engineers use extensive knowledge of all sorts of materials, compounds, and reactions to make breakthrough feats for medicine, fuels, plastics, and even food products. 
They need to know how heat and mixing affects various chemical reactions and how to scale tiny bench shop experiments into huge industrial productions. Chemical salaries start at $70,000 a year, average almost $120,000, and can expect up to $170,000 a year in the top 10% of cases. This field is small compared to others on this list on a similar scale to biomedical engineering. That being said, it's expected to grow about 8% in the coming decade, opening up around 1,300 jobs a year. Up next, we have the engineers that help chemical engineers scale their products from the bench to factories, industrial engineers. These engineers ensure that entire manufacturing processes are safe and efficient as possible without letting quality drop at all. They're typically versed in a single industry like automobile, food packaging, or smartphone manufacturing, but sometimes can crisscross through different industries. You can find them doing operations research to maximize production efficiency, ergonomics to keep workplaces safe and comfy, and quality control to make sure every product is top notch. These engineers earn almost $100,000 a year with early career engineers expecting north of $71,000 and senior engineers earning around $135,000. This field is expected to see a ton of growth, expanding with a substantial 12% in the coming decade to open up almost 23,000 jobs a year. And now it's on to our final field, and one of the highest earners to date, nuclear engineers. These engineers take nuclear processes and physics and apply it to energy production, nuclear materials, and resultant industries. In case you're wondering, nuclear physics is basically the study of particles like protons and neutrons and the forces that hold them together or cause them to split or fuse, releasing energy levels akin to that of our sun. This is the principle behind nuclear power plants and every single nuclear engineer's job. These engineers have very high entry level earnings at $83,000 a year. On average, the engineers earn about $126,000 a year with senior engineers capping out around $172,000. Whew. Hopefully my salary can compete with that. Anyways, this field is actually expected to see little to no change for new jobs in the next decade, which is the only field on the list that is not only below the national average, but is completely stagnant with an expected 0% of growth. Now before I reveal my electrical engineering salary, know that we have deep dives on many of these engineering fields and depending on the time you watch this video, could have videos on all of them. We discuss the field's university curriculum, the actual engineering you do in the field, and give you much more insider information. So after the video, check out our So You Want To Be playlist to find all this info. And as promised, on to my salary. In California, I was offered a base salary of $80,000 as an entry-level radio frequency engineer, which is a subfield of electrical engineering. This also came with sign-on and relocation bonuses as I moved across California to take the job. But you should know that I do live in a really expensive area, so the electrical engineering figures from earlier actually check out pretty nicely. If you are interested in my salary breakdown, check out this video from my personal channel. Thanks for watching, and happy engineering everybody!